This morning, Time Magazine is launching FIRST. That's a new project that highlights the achievements of 46 groundbreaking women. It includes exclusive video interviews and features 12 magazine covers. Each one profiles a different woman who became the first female to break the glass ceiling in her field. Some of the women shared what breaking that barrier meant to them. The glass ceiling, that vocabulary is violent, right? It denotes pressure. It denotes struggle. Not one thing ever does it. It's a series of consistent things. Conflict is a sign of possibility. Many people see it as something to be avoided. But we can't grow, we can't change without conflict. Time Editor-in-Chief Nancy Gibbs and Time Director of Photography and Visual Enterprise, Kara Pollock, join us at the table. Good morning Good to morning. both of you. Great to have you guys back here. So this is different than like the Time 100. Why did you want to specifically focus on women and firsts? This is, this is not a ranking, this is not a power list. We just wanted to tell stories, and we wanted to tell stories that were actually as different as possible for each other. It's the old notion, if you can't see it, you can't be it. Uh -huh. And so we felt like we've been having these conversations about why women are not breaking through to the, to the C-suite, to the top level, whether it's women in Hollywood or in tech or in politics. And, and so we thought, let's just go out to a bunch of women who have actually broken through and hear their stories. What motivated them, what held them back, what was you know, the life-changing, game-changing Is, is there a common them. denominator here? Is there? That's what's great, there isn't. Mm -hmm. And in a way, that's the whole point. There, there is no one way of thinking about or approaching this, and we actually wanted as much variety as possible so that- well, You did that, Nancy. I mean, also, yeah. Kira, the number 46 is so random. I think you've got the fun, the power, the <laughs> unexpected. Selena Gomez, first person to reach 100 million followers on Instagram. Why 46? 46 it could keep going. Yeah. It was just an organic list that we continue to evolve and continue to put together, and we can keep going with it. There are so many great stories to be told. Mm -hmm. I love that Oprah Winfrey and Ava DuVernay both made the list, and of course they've now become very good friends, but they are not part of the unexpected, I don't think. No, I think though, you know, if, if you are a scientist, then you know Elizabeth Blackburn, one of the eight female Nobel laureates in the sciences. If you're, if you're an oceanographer, you know Sylvia Earle. If you're a tennis player or anyone else, you know Serena Williams. Some of them are much more well-known mm -hmm. than others, but, but every Everyone should find someone with whom they can identify. The, the introverts and the extroverts and the really outgoing pioneers and the much more private, personal people mm -hmm. whose paths were much quieter. I love Moni Davis. Oh. Yes, so do I. She's the youngest on the list. 16? Yep. Youngest. And when she was 13, she pitched a, a shutout at the Little League World yeah, Series. We remember and that. you know, when we interviewed her, she's, we asked her, what do you think about the glass ceiling? And she said, What's the glass, glass ceiling? ceiling? Yes. And it's it's so interesting because her generation, you know, that's just not even in their vocabulary. Another first, even the photo shoot is different. You said all those photo shoots were done with an iPhone, yeah. which I think is also an, a very interesting take. Yeah. Yeah. Also a first. Also a first. <laughs> There's 12 different covers. First time we've yeah. done 12 So why covers. the iPhone? What were you trying to do, a casual Well, thing? actually, it was the photographer, Louisa Dorr, mm -hmm. who I, I actually discovered on Instagram. Mm -hmm. oh. She's Brazilian. Mm -hmm. And she is an incredible photographer and uses her iPhone as her camera. Mm -hmm. So we saw her work first, realized that she photographs with her iPhone, and then she went around the country mm -hmm. and photographed all of these women who are used to, you know, major yes. shoots, Photoshop, major productions. Right. And, yeah. you know, there was something so kind of down to earth about this photographer and the subject. Are we all fascinated by lists, Nancy? So whether it's David Letterman's old top 10 list or whether it's Fortune 500 list, it's we just are, it's something I, about it. It's a way to organize our thinking. It's a way to look for patterns and, and, and prophecies and understanding, I think. There's, there's, it's, an, it's in a way a very arbitrary, subjective exercise, but I also mm -hmm. think there's, there's a real value to it. And in this case, you know, our goal was for there to be someone that everyone can see and think, I could be that. If not that, then that, then that. You know, 46, it could be 146, it could be, you know, 10,000. There, you've all of this, of course, on time, but you have a hashtag too, right? Do you hope that it, it, that it becomes viral in some way? Yeah, the, the hashtag is, she is the first. Mm -hmm. And we've put that out there because that's really where the conversation is happening on social media. Mm -hmm. And people have really submitted great stories of, my mother was the first 
woman in our family to go to college. You know, firsts are, is a very broad term, and so a lot of people really have stories to tell. Yeah. Well, I love that you're celebrating intellect, success, yes. sports, athletics, and women all together. It's a great, great collection. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Again, on a broad definition by Time Magazine. Yeah. Again, I like it. You guys are killing it on the cover. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> yeah.